Today, we're going to be taking a gander at this thermostat housing here. Uh, back in the last cold spell here in Kentucky, we uh, I had to drive my Samurai four-wheel drive. And no heat. This thing's never had heat. Blower works fine. I got good air coming out of the vents. No heat. Never has had it since I had it. So today was kind of a warm day. And I decided let's take this thermostat out here and see what we got going on. Um, I don't know if this is as far as regional as it gets, but You'll have two ground wires on the thermostat housing, or you do on mine anyways. And it's a 10 millimeter, take that bolt off. And then you'll have two 12 millimeters to take the thermostat housing bolts out. And this is a good way to, good simple thermostat two change. I'm going to kind of hold my hand on that, keep antifreeze from spewing everywhere. This is a good simple thermostat 2 change. And just about everywhere you go, think about it like this. Always follow those upper radiator hose, and it'll typically go to your thermostat housing. So this is, on, this is good for any vehicle, not just a Samurai. We're going to pull this housing back, and we do have a thermostat in there. I'm surprised, I'll be quite frankly honest. It is a 182. Hundred and eighty-two degree thermostat. Um... I don't know if that's a good thermostat or not. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this back down on here. And I'm going to go get me a thermostat. They're relatively cheap. And it's really easy to change. Yeah, I mean, you might as well. There's no sense in, you know, going through all this trouble here without changing it. I am, however, going to tighten this back up while I go to the parts house. So that way I don't get no dirt and grime or nothing in there. And I can move it if I have to. Now you've seen we didn't lose a lot of antifreeze there. That's in part that I got this uh, clamped off. This hose clamped off up here. Okay, I'm going to run to the parts house and get a, a thermostat, and we'll be right back. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, took a little bit longer than I expected to get a thermostat. I had to order it, so go figure, right? Um... So we're taking this back apart here, because we, if you remember, before I paused the video, we put these screws back in there so we wouldn't lose as much antifreeze. And we we'll just kind of slide that off here. Make sure you take your old gasket off. And this one's about disintegrated, about gone. That's okay, we got it all off though. Uh, we got a new gasket here. It is part number 2168K. 
can't really see it, but it's stamped in there. I promise, it's stamped in there. Uh, this one's got a, got a sticky back to it. I don't necessarily think you have to go through that trouble of ripping that. I don't think it matters if it's sticky or not. Let's put it like that. We'll put that down there. And we got a OEM thermostat here, Murray part number 3959. And this is actually a 192 thermostat. So, oh, I think I put that on there wrong. I think that's supposed to go like that down in there. And this is supposed to go on top of it. I kind of got it backwards there. You're supposed to put the thermostat in first. And then put that down on top of it. So we're going to put that like so. Get our bolts. Screw it back down this side. Easy. Easy. There we go. I think I got it that time. Alright, so we'll get our and you just torque it to where it's snug. But just remember these are aluminum housings, so you don't want to break a bolt off inside there or nothing. And that's tight. Don't forget to hook your ground wires back up here. If yours even has ground wires, I don't know. I don't know if yours will or not, but I know mine does. So we're gonna hook them back up there. And again, 12 millimeter takes these apart. Uh, 10 millimeter puts your ground wires back on. you kind of hold the wires there and we're going to pop this loose here you can kind of squeeze this here and check for leaks don't really see any right now. and that's it we got to change thermostat thank y'all for watching